Hey there ninjas, uh, I just shared something in the Facebook group about the Amazon affiliate disclosure. If you're promoting Amazon products, please make sure that you have this disclosure on your site and make sure you're complying with their terms of service because if you get, uh, a, like if your site gets reviewed or something like that and it's not on there, they can um, terminate your account, they can ban you. You know, you might have thousands of dollars in your Amazon affiliate account and then they terminate your account, you lose all that money. Um, make sure that you comply with the terms and conditions. All right, so I just wanted to share a little trick with you, um, what you can do to find other affiliate websites and just sort of spy on what they're doing and how they're generating traffic and what type of keywords that they're chasing. So uh, I'm gonna be using SEM Rush for this. It is a paid tool um, I did. Uh, post the other day in the Facebook group that you can get a free trial with this uh, service. It is a $99 a month service, but it is well worth it. Um, if you're just starting out, it's probably not for you, but you can sign up for the free trial. If you're not going to um, continue and pay uh, and you do sign up, make sure that you cancel your account because you will get charged if you do not cancel before your trial is finished. So I'm just gonna show you a trick. So this is the website that I shared just a little while ago in the group. It's called Terms Feed, and um, I'll put the link to this in uh, the description of this video. But basically what we're gonna be doing is we're going to look for uh, what people include on their website. So we're gonna look for other Amazon affiliates. So this is what, um, Amazon Associates program expects you to have on your site so uh, visitors know that you're promoting their products and that just um, tells them that you are an affiliate, being honest and everything like that. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this snippet and I'm gonna search in Google in brackets. So if I go to Google and I type that in, like I copy and paste, and I'll put that in, um, brackets like that and then I hit a plus sign and then whatever your niche is you can add that as well so let's have a look at um, for this example we might look at um, kitchen stools because <laughs> I know I had that earlier all right so that's probably another good one Not because of that all right, so I've just copied that, put the plus sign, and then kitchen stools. Now you can change that to anything that you're promoting or whatever your niche is about. So then we can go in and we can have a look at these websites and we can see how, that they're, how they're promoting their products because they're actually another Amazon affiliate. So it should have, down, should have on their website somewhere that they are an affiliate. Um, just here so you can see that they've got uh, lots of different posts now here's a review so they're, they're probably promoting products as an affiliate and you can just have a look and see what they're doing you know like you might get ideas from all these other websites you know, this wasn't a very big post or big review. So you can probably, you know, if they're, that's an old one actually. So um, if this search term here is getting a bit of traffic, well then, or a bit of search volume, you can write a review for this and probably outrank. Oh, this might not be ranking at all, but, um, one thing that you can do is you can, with SEM Rush, is grab the domain name and then we can throw it in and do a bit of an analysis of um, what type of traffic it's bringing in and you know what type of keywords it's ranking for and what's their best um, pages. So this site actually gets a fair bit of traffic. You can look at their um, growth chart and then have a look at what type of keywords that they've got you can have a look at their um, competitors, 
So you can also have, uh, analyze these sites as well and get keyword ideas. You can also have a look at their backlinks. Now, if they've got easy, to, uh, easy backlinks that you can also get, then I would go ahead and try and get those backlinks for your site and you know, it's only gonna help you get more traffic and rank higher in Google or Bing or wherever it is. So I'm gonna have a look at the keywords that this website here has got. It's another Amazon affiliate. Now, um, this is another good way also of finding uh, niche ideas and it's a good way of finding long tail keyword ideas as well. So what I'm going to search by, I've already got it checked here, but I normally search by what traffic percentage that this website's, um, the keywords bringing in. So paper flowers is something that's bringing in a lot of traffic for this site, or not a lot, but it's their top um, keyword. Can, uh, that's according to SEM Rush. It might be out, it might not be right, but it gives you a good indicator. So we can have a look at all these different keywords that it's getting traffic for. And what I do is I look for all the ones that are related to my niche. You know, I can even filter different keywords in this. So if it was about kitchen stools, I could put kitchen and do a bit of a filter. All right, so we can go, it's mainly all about kitchen toys, make your own kids kitchen. You know, that might be another niche in itself. Play kitchen. And what I do, I'd find all these keywords that are like three words plus, you know, like long tail keywords. So kids play kitchen. And you can filter these down too, so you can add more filters. But one thing that I like to do especially with big sites or generic um, like community sites or websites that I know get a lot of traffic is I'll type in and filter out all the review type keywords. So that'll um, give me a, a list of all their keywords that they have the, like a review on and that they're ranking for or getting traffic for. Okay, so now I can go through here and I can go, okay, well this keyword here, you know, if it's related to my niche, I can um, have a look, see where it's ranking. It's ranking number 21 roughly. And, you know, it's not bringing much traffic to that site. And have a look at the trends, what, uh, if it's trending or not. This one up here is trending by the look of it. Again, probably a seasonal type thing. Um, I can have a look at the keyword difficulty, what search volume it's got. Uh, cost per click, all these different um, factors that the SEM rush will show you, all the data. And then what I do is I would have a look, you can have a look at the page that it's, you know, uh, let's, let's pretend that um, this page, this this keyword here, because they're, they're ranking number two, let's pretend that I see it and they've got, um, the volume is about 1,000. I would have a look at the page that is ranking. And I'd have a look, have a bit of a read. Um, this is the same page by the look of it that we looked at before. And, you know, it's not a very big review. So I would go ahead, I would write a much more detailed review, probably go an extra three, four hundred words compared to this one. And then I would have a look at, like I'd analyze where, which one it was, it was that one. I would analyze this URL and I'd have a look at the backlinks it's got. So by the looks of it, it hasn't got any referring links to that page. So it could be a really easy one to outrank. And then I'd write a review on it. I'd actually send some backlinks to it and you'll probably find that um, because it's not very competitive and this site, this page here is ranking pretty easily. 
you would probably come, um, you know, you probably outrank it or you come second or third in the search engines and you still get some good traffic to that page. So that's, you know, a good way you can get keyword ideas, you know, like search for other affiliates through Amazon and let's have a look. I'll, um, let's have a look, see if we can do another one. Um, let's do it on uh, maybe fitness. Fitness is pretty hot. So we can have a look at these different websites. You know, this one, have a look at this website. And then I would uh, grab, you know, that's in our niche. Have a look at their homepage, see what they're all about. Okay, so pretend you've got a, a website about fitness. I would then go to SEM Rush. I'd put their domain name in and I would have a look and analyze their website, see what their um, traffic is, see what they're ranking for and see what type of keywords. So this one doesn't get very much traffic according to this um, results. So but we can still have a look, see where what other keywords that they're showing up for. You know, just because they're not ranking uh, doesn't mean that we can come up with some good keyword ideas because sometimes these keyword tools like the free tools, they won't show you all the um, good keywords or the golden keywords that you can chase after and write articles or reviews for. So um, we can go through here, we can sort by volume. And then, all right, so we can go running pace calculator. You know, the keyword difficulty for that, that's probably all right to go for. You can have a look at the top results for, you know, what, what's showing up in Google. Just make sure it's .com. All right, so coolrunning.com is ranking for this. I'd have a look. This is probably, you know, got a few backlinks or whatever because it's a bit of a calculator. But you could um, write an article about, um, you know, running pace calculator. Try and get a bit of a widget made up maybe and try and outrank this and get some of their traffic. Now on there you can have ads and you can, you know, refer them to other pages on your site like they've done here and try and get them to a page where there's offers or where you're promoting affiliate links. But yeah, you can go through all these different keywords with SEM Rush. Um, you know, there's so many more things that you can do with this tool, it's really good. So I highly recommend um, signing up for the free trial. Again, if you're not gonna follow through and um, keep um, your subscription, cancel it before you do get billed just use the free trial but if you do want to continue go for it it's, it's well worth it I use it all the time and it's played a big role in my success on with my affiliate sites because I find all these cool um, and golden uh, long tail keywords and keywords that I know that I can rank for and then I also get all the um, backlinks at my affiliate sites or try and get as many as I can and I can also dig deeper and analyze different ad copies and what type of ads they're running and things like that. There's so many things that you can do with this tool. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. You can have a bit of a dig around. You can use other tools. I mean, um, like I said, you just search for a bit of that snippet and then um, plus whatever your niche is and then you can find other affiliate websites, see what they're doing, see what they're ranking for, what type of keywords they're showing up for in Google, and then you can go, okay, well, this is a really good keyword, I'm gonna write a review or an article about it and try and rank for that as well, steal some of their traffic or try and outrank them, and you can um, definitely start getting traffic, and a lot of the time, because these are gonna be easy to rank for keywords, you'll find that you'll rank pretty quick if you steal some of their backlinks as well. So um, yeah, like I said, 
this SEM rush is such a powerful tool. It's, you know, you're more or less stealing um, traffic from your competitors and uh, their backlinks and things like that because it is such a good service that you can use to find all these different um, sources. So check it out. It is worth it. I mean, like I said, you can use other tools. Um, in my opinion, probably not anywhere near as good as this. Ahrefs is probably better or just as good. I prefer SEMrush because of the interface and it's just a lot cleaner for me. I, I prefer it. Uh, Ahrefs has different features as well that I like, but yeah, out of the two, SEMrush is really cool. So hope you enjoyed this video. It is a quick one. I don't want to drag it out too much. It's 15 minutes already. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'll include the link for the free trial that I got years um, by being in contact with SEM Rush. It's Eli, I think his name is. And I spoke to him. I tried getting a 30-day um, trial, but they can only do a 14-day one. But that's plenty of time to... Um, I mean, you can... You get all the pro features in the, in the trial. So what I would do actually is export as much data as you can. So you can click on here, export all these keywords, and then you know put them in a folder and save all that data. You know just mine as much data as you can, and then you know if you don't want to continue with your subscription, cancel out of it, and you know at least you've got all this data from all the competitors' sites. And you know like I just go ahead and grab as much as you can and you know mine as much data as you can and keep it in a folder but if you do like it and you do have the money to spend this tool is worth it in a heartbeat so um yeah let us know what you think about the video and thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next video i'm trying to pump out as much as i can over the next few days to give you as much content as possible go and spy on your competitors go and have a look at what other affiliates are doing and follow this video and i'm sure you'll come across some really good ideas all right thanks guys see ya